These are people that... Jackie Shaw wanted to show me something, a collection of graves from the 1800s with names like Maddie and Melvina, but many with no names at all, just crosses and blank stones. I did not know it was here. I felt guilty when I found it. And you could forgive her for that because of where the Champion Macedonia Cemetery is. Down an unmarked road off the 35 freeway in Louisville, a small L-shaped grove of trees surrounded by warehouses and a car dealership. African Americans, enslaved and free in a cemetery, mostly forgotten. And we just we just want to lift them up and just make sure that their resting place is a beautiful resting place. And on MLK Day, she got help. Hundreds with chainsaws and lawnmowers, brushes and blowers, restoring a cemetery and restoring their own history. I'm this far because of them. The least I can do is clean off the graves and say thank you. Just so much joy. I'm like, whoo! <laughs> but five miles north, another forgotten African-American cemetery they'd like to get to next. Hidden next to a warehouse and railroad tracks, the Fox Hembree Cemetery. A 14-year-old girl named Melinda, the first to be buried here in 1845. Yeah, I'm going to be third. May Clark Brodnax will be here when her time comes, buried next to her great-great-grandparents. I'm proud of my ancestors. I'm really proud of them. They left a legacy for us. But even at this cemetery, not a legacy everyone respects. An illegal trash pile sits just yards away from the cemetery entrance. So as volunteers began clearing the Champion Macedonia Cemetery, they want this effort to expand and grow. What MLK would want us to do. Black people, white people to come together and just love on each other and be at one. And to not let so much sacrifice be lost to time.